Hello, today I'm going to be installing Python 3 on my Mac. Okay, and if you're a Windows user, I have a separate video for that, so you should switch over now. Um, what, one of the things you might notice if you are on a Mac is that it already has Python um, installed, but it doesn't have the version uh, we want. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, I'm going to come over uh, to Finder here, so I'm going to pull up Finder, and I'm going to go to my Applications, and if I scroll all the way down, um, I'm going to go to Utilities, and then I'm going to open up this program called Terminal. Okay, you don't need to know how this works exactly uh, today, but I'm going to be telling you some commands that you need to type in it. Um, and as long as you do it exactly, you should be fine. Okay, so what I'm going to type is I'm going to say Python space dash dash version. Okay, and again, you don't need to know what this is doing. Uh, just type exactly what I did and then hit enter. And we see that this says Python 2.7, uh, which automatically comes uh, uh, with your Apple laptop. Instead, we want to have Python 3, and then I don't care what these other numbers are. So I've gone over to this website, uh, www.python.org, and I'm going to do a download. I'm going to go to download, and I see it's already suggesting the download uh, file I need for this computer, Python 3.7.2. So I'm going to click that, and this is going to ask me to save it somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. So I'll download that. <clears throat> and then let me open up this file that I just downloaded. Okay, so this is an installer. Okay, so I'm going to step through this. All right, so an agreement there. So I'm going to continue. More agreement stuff. Continue. Yes, I agree with that. Okay, and I'm going to install this. Okay, and you might have to type some password to do this. Great, I see the, the install has completed. So I'm going to say close here. And uh, I'm going to head back uh, to here again. And now I'm going to type Python dash dash version again. And I see this is still Python 1.2.15. Okay, so one of the things I might try is I might try uh, running Python 3 dash dash version. And now I actually see that this is the version I just installed. So I'll Python 3.7.2, and if we come back to this page here, where I had downloaded, uh, you see that indeed, well, that's what I just installed. Okay, so when you're running Python in this class, you're often going to be running Python 3. Oh, I'm going to hit Backspace now. There's another program that we care about uh, called uh, pip3. I'm going to look at the version for that, too. So I'm going to say pip3 dash dash version. And uh, what pip is, is it's a program that lets us install extra packages that we can use with Python. And uh, there's a few that we're going to use this semester. And so I'm going to install those now. I'm going to say pip3 uh, install. And uh, there's a few things I want to install. The most important one is Jupyter, spelled like that. And then one called requests. And another one called numpy. And finally one called matplot. Lab, right, so make sure you type that exactly uh, as I have, and then hit enter. Okay, so that's complete. Um, let's see if this is set up properly. Okay, I'm going to say Jupyter space notebook and then press enter. And this is not currently found, so one of the things I might need to do is I might need to close this and open it again. So I'm going to head back to Finder and I see, well sure enough, here's my terminal. So I'm going to open this again. Let me make this a little bit larger for you. And I'm going to say Jupyter again, and now I say Notebook, and this time it should actually work. So I'm going to hit Enter, 
And if this works properly, it's going to open up a new tab in your web browser, and you're going to see something like this. And then what you'll want to do, so if you get this far, it means that your setup is basically correct. Um, and we could leave it there, but I'm just going to write a little bit of Python code to show you how it works um, end to end. So I'm going to hit new here and say Python 3. And we're going to be talking a lot about this in class, but what this is a, a setup for is for you to write Python code in these boxes. Right? Um, so one of the things I could do is I could say 2 plus 3. And then there's a button here that says run. I could click that if I wanted to, or I could hold down shift and enter, and I can see I can see what the result is. Okay.